literally recreate the scene for you of where we've seen in the movie. <laughs> There's always got to be that one bully in Cars. Yep, of course, Jackson Storm was pretty much the bully of the Piston Cup next-gen races, but the 1950s Piston Cup races, it was pretty much Leroy Hemming. But yeah, anyway, today we'll be taking a closer look at Leroy Hemming. Of course, not the heyday one, because I believe that is a new variant of Leroy Hemming, but I do not have that one yet. But we're going to be taking a look at the 2018 release of Leroy Hemming, made in Thailand. This was suggested to me by... Hall of Studios, I will leave his name here. Of course, he will make sure to comment, so make sure you give him a little subscribe as well. But yeah, anyways, Leroy Hemming. He is one of the first, of course, 1950s Piston Cup races to be released, apart from River Scott, Louise Nash, and Junior Moon. Of course, not in their heyday forms, but yeah. So, of course, let's take a look at his packaging now. Leroy Hemming, pretty cool. There's Mattel logo, 3+. There's the ridge because he's made in Thailand now. Pretty cool. Leroy Hemming, sponsored by Revolting. We've got his lovely artwork here in this small little bubble. Cars logo. Pretty cool. Look at that little smile. It's so funny looking. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I don't know why. Yeah. Anyways, he's in the um, racing days, docks racing days 51 series i guess and on the back we can see a lot of other new disney pixar cars from this line coming out loads of them and i mean look at them all just just look at there's just one M mattel white anyways we can see a picture of doc overtaking junior moon here and of course it says doc's racing days he's made in thailand and of course they've got to have the copyright down here for hudson hornet ford chrysler of course yep that's it for his packaging. Now taking a closer look at his die cast now. Pretty cool. Don't need to add any pictures of where he's seen in the movie. Literally recreate the scene for you of where he's seen in the movie. <laughs> that did not happen. This is what exactly happened. <sighs> Yay, Doc won. I'll be able to do this like this video. Yeah, anyways. Getting on this with this review now. He's got this, like, angry expression here because Doc literally just passed him. Even though he's smiling and he's angry. Why? Why did they just change up the art? Anyways. Pretty cool. We've got the headlights on the front. Bumper. Not exactly sure what that says on the front. Side. On the hood it says 355 horsepower. Which is how much horsepower he has. He is number 300. Pretty cool. He says Leroy Hemming on the hood. Because, of course, all the racing... What the hell happened there? Why is that so wonky? Mattel, explain yourself. Anyways, on the back, we can also see some flags. We've got World's Fastest. Is he, though? Because I bet you Jackson Storm can beat him. Stocks to sa sedan. Is it really stock though? Yep. Side. Oh, blurry. Far Day Valley. Pretty cool. Got some blurry shitty decals here. Revolting. 300 again. Orlando, Florida. Which one is it? Full power and long lasting. Pretty cool. On the back, we can see his license plate reads Leroy. His max speed is 130 miles per hour. Wow, that's really fast. My dad's car could go quicker than that. The car qualified at 130. I think that's what it's supposed to actually say. Here is the base. He is made in Thailand, of course, with all the usual gibberish on the back. Week 45 in the A factory. Pretty cool. Yeah, thank you, Hall of Studios, for the instance this for you. We also got the mini version. Some other Piston Cup races now. We've got Calab Wally. 
we got Floyd Morgan. Just going to bring them all back because that's what people like to see. Hello, Junior Moon. Regular River Scott. Regular Louise Nash because I do not have the heyday versions open of them, guys. We've got Randy Lawson, which is a different model to Leroy. That's actually... We've got Hood because, you know, his name's not Slim Hood. It's just Hood. Jet Robinson. Eli Turnpike and Duke Quarters. I might review Duke Quarters, who knows? But yep, and of course, we also got the legend himself, the fabulous Hudson Hornet. But yep, guys, are new, please make sure you smash that like up button. Thank you for 1.8k, can't believe it, literally. Of course, always subscribe, hit that bell notification button down below. Till next one, peace, guys.